People in Jefferson Parish are upset after a business was vandalized overnight. Words of hate spray painted on a mural outside of the Bromart in Fat City. Jade Cunningham has the story. I just think it's a sad state of affairs. Eyes were on the mural outside of Bromart Wednesday. These have been up here, I think, seven years or so, so it was a surprise and, uh, and, and very unfortunate. After someone spray painted on it, even writing an horrific racial slur. It's just very, very sad. Store surveillance shows a car pulling up sometime during the night. You then see the person get out and go to the mural. The act came hours after Derek Chauvin's guilty verdict was announced. Customers who saw the vandalism were disgusted. One woman spoke with us only if we didn't show her face. I just wish that people who have these type of feelings could find an outlet besides destroying the murals that have been in the city for ages. The art is part of the Fat City Mural Project. It's one of almost a dozen pieces installed to help make the area more visually appealing and welcoming. And each one of these business owners agreed to not only have the side of their building painted with a mural, but agreed to what the mural would be and worked with the artist uh, on the actual design of it. So a lot of work and a lot of expense went into this. and. Uh, this is this is terrible for a lot of reasons. Jefferson Chamber President Todd Murphy has been involved in bringing life back to Fat City. He says it's shameful this happened, but it won't stop the project from continuing. I'm glad that it's isolated to one ignorant person, and hopefully that person will be caught and charged with a crime because it is a crime and, it, and it's absolutely terrible. Terrible and no doubt upsetting, and it's something people in Jefferson Parish say they don't stand for. I don't think it defines them in any way. I think there's diversity everywhere and just some people are angry and they're not sure how to express and to outlet their anger besides destruction. Now, police have been notified about it. The graffiti is still up uncovered, but work is being done to try and clean it up.